This Delaware resident has put himself in a dicey situation. For now, we'll call him Whistleblower Wayne. The cops have a report that Wayne has purchased several firearms recently, and they're on his front step to make sure the guns are still in Wayne's possession. If Wayne makes a wrong move, he might end up in handcuffs. This is actual video from Wayne's own doorbell camera. Those are two ATF agents on his front stoop, along with a Delaware state trooper. Apparently the Gestapo, <laughs> I mean the gun inspectors, are making their rounds to verify who has guns and who does not. Look, verifying that you have it. You got two different purchases. Okay. If you have them, I'm out of here. This whole encounter is what narcotics detectives would call a knock and talk. Officers use this tactic to fish for violations of the law and to gather evidence about properties and people that they may have suspicions about. Officers go up to a door and knock, and then they'll talk with whoever answers the door. While they're talking, they're actually looking for evidence of a crime to see if maybe they can get an arrest warrant to arrest somebody or at least bolster an affidavit for a search warrant to try to come back later and search the premises. If you want to avoid knock and talks on your own property, check out this video right here. But Wayne makes his first mistake. He opens the door. If the cops show up on your front step and you didn't call them, don't open the door. The only exception is if they announce they have a warrant and that gets complicated. But in this case, there's no warrant announced because they don't have one. Then the cops explain why they're at Wayne's front door. The reason we're out here is we're obviously gun and violence. It's been an uptick, so we want to make sure we don't have any of issues with straw purchases. And so one of, the, one of the things we indicators that we get is somebody makes it a large gun purchase. And then a lot of times we've been there like, oh, those guns got taken. And we're like, these nice officers are on Wayne's front stoop to see if he has committed a federal felony. Let that sink in for a minute, a felony. Hello? It's been a slow day out here and I'm bored. Have you committed any felonies today? Look, it's not illegal to not have your guns with you, but depending upon Wayne's story, these gun inspectors might determine that his answers to their questions give them enough probable cause to try to go apply for a search warrant to come back and search Wayne's entire house looking for these guns that he may not have there. So if Wayne says the wrong thing, this situation is going to escalate quickly. The cops then explain to Wayne why his particular address was flagged. So, so the idea is when you purchase more than two guns at a time, it generates a, a multiple sale report. And he comes to us and we have to check them out. Okay. That's, that's all that is. He did nothing wrong. There's an email from the, from the federal right. side saying, hey, can you make sure this guy's got his gun? Hold the phone. What part of the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution says anything about needing to make sure someone's got their own guns? A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Shall not be infringed. That does not say make sure people have the guns that they claim to have bought. Nope. But Wayne, being a responsible and upright citizen, wants to cooperate. He knows he's done nothing wrong, and he's frankly probably a supporter of the police doing a tough job that's necessary for a free society. Unfortunately, the more he hesitates, the harder the gun inspectors continue to push. First, they try to make it seem like it's no big deal at all. If you can unload him and bring him out, or you can go out to your foyer here, check him out, fight number, share number, and we're out of here. The cops assure Wayne that this is all routine, but as regular viewers of this channel know, the cops can and do lie to you. The cops also tried to assure Wayne that he has done nothing wrong. Okay. That's, that's all that is, he did nothing wrong. But if Wayne consents to a search, he's opening up for a world of hurt. What if Wayne's wife had come to the door and she got scared because Wayne wasn't home and she consented to a search? The cops aren't going to ignore things they see and hear. Perhaps there's no firearms violations at this home, but perhaps there's some other violation the cops witness. That is going to be used later to prosecute whoever they can prosecute. There are so many possible violations of the law, especially firearms law, that it is not safe to consent to a search as the punishments can be extremely severe. So when Wayne continues to hesitate, the cops up the ante with a threat of a return trip. If we can look at them and just, I have them just scratch them off, and that way, because I know we don't so see this again. Back. Yeah, we can just write which ones you just bought, okay. and so we save a trip from coming back. While this mild threat can be a bit scary, the cops can never make you talk, 
and they cannot see the guns that are inside your home without a search warrant or your permission. So, what does Wayne do? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll go get them. Okay. okay. Not that. If you make the mistake of opening the door, thinking maybe the police need your help to solve a crime in your neighborhood and you're trying to be a good citizen, but then things turn on you and they're wanting to inspect your property or come into your house, you can simply say, have a nice day and close the door. And then you should call a good local criminal defense attorney just in case the police do have some kind of evidence against you or in case they do come back with a warrant, you need to be prepared. You don't have to be mean or rude to the cops, but you don't have to talk to them either. Fortunately, Wayne did not get into trouble, at least not yet. According to this story on the truth about guns, Wayne retrieved one rifle from his home. The agent looked at the serial number, checked it off his list, and said it wasn't necessary to see any more of the weapons. They apologized for the inconvenience, wished Wayne a good night, and left. Wayne made a lot of mistakes in this situation and fortunately got off easy. If you want to know exactly what to do if the police come knocking at your door, check out my next video. I'll see you there. And remember, don't talk to the police.